Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the magnificent animal, the Indian wild dog, or we call as the dhol. The Indian wild dog or the dhol belongs to the Canidae family, native to Central South East Asia. India has the largest number of dhols, with key population found in Western Ghats, Central India, and North East India. Beside the tiger. The dhol is the only large carnivore in India that is under IUCN endangered category. Less than 2500 dhols are left in the world. Dhols play an important role as apex predators in forest ecosystem. Factors contributing to this decline includes habitat loss, loss of prey, competition with other species, persecution due to livestock predation. and disease transfer from domestic dogs dhol is a highly social animal living in large clan without rigid dominance hierarchies and containing multiple breeding females the skull of indian wild dog is unique in canine world they have broad heads with noses that are considerably shorter than those of canine family members Another unique physical characteristic of dhol is in the fact that their forehead is convex rather than concave. They have exceptionally strong jaws and have teeth unlike those of other species of wild dog, most of which have 42. The Indian wild dog is missing one pair of lower molars and their upper molars only have one cusp. Although they do not howl or bark, Indian wild dogs have other ways to communicate audibly. They use a series of repetitive whistles that are unique to each individual, hence the nickname whistling dog. In 2014, the Indian government sanctioned its first dhol conservation breeding center at Indira Gandhi Zoological Park in Visakhapatnam. This is the board from the Indira Gandhi Zoological Park describing about the dhol. We have to save this magnificent animal from extinction or else these animals become part of history.